If you want to support the Predator Poachers catching the sickest both near and far, go to the pinned comment. If you're on Rumble, press the red join button to see over 30 videos early and uncensored for only $10 a month. We can't do this without your help, so join our locals. What's up guys? The sponsor of this video is Red Pill Threads. Very easy sponsor to work with because I can't wait to wear the shirts myself. They're coming to the mail with me as I'm making this. Be sure to check out their stuff. Grassroots Company, you're supporting small business, but check out their awesome designs they have for people of all views. Check out their Doe 36 shirt. I think a very creative thing. Poking fun at Bill Clinton for being on the Epstein's client list. Check out many of their other designs, Horn Pop and all of that. Super cool stuff. I can't wait to wear them in the videos and use the promo code POACHERS for 10% off your order. Get you a discount on it and get you some awesome shirts for you and the whole family. Very well made and made by someone who you can trust. So without further ado, get you a shirt and let's get into the video. This channel is a group of investigative journalists who make educational documentaries showcasing and educating society, especially parents and legal guardians, about potential scenarios that result from young people and adults conversating online if left unchecked. We conduct thorough interviews with consenting adults in an attempt to understand their perspective on why they partake in these conversations online with people that are not of age. The goal of the interviews in these videos and the videos themselves is to gain an understanding of the perspective of the individual being interviewed so parents and the rest of society can be educated and aware of potential thought processes and desires of adults online to unsupervised persons not of age. These videos are not to cyberbully, harass, degrade, accuse, or threaten any individuals partaking in the interview process or in the video itself. We do not condone any of these actions. These videos are strictly educational and we grant full permission for academia, which is any classroom setting or in scholarly papers to show or cite our videos. To ensure that these videos are strictly used for educational purposes, we strictly adhere to YouTube's community guidelines, such as not revealing someone's personally identifiable information. In other words, PII. YouTube defines personally identifiable information as their home address, email addresses, signing credentials, phone numbers, passport number, medical records, or bank account information. We thoroughly look at and edit our videos to ensure that none of this information about any individual is shown in our videos. To ensure extra privacy for each person that is a subject of an interview in any of our videos, as of September 1st, 2022, to thoroughly comply with YouTube's harassment and bullying policy, there will be no mention or information about the last name or first name of any person in in our videos. Due to potentially illegal activities discussed in our videos, law enforcement in the respective jurisdiction we conduct these interviews in is notified of each interview and video filmed by us. We are not accusing any individual interviewed of being guilty or committing a crime. That is the job of law enforcement. We are not vigilantes and we do not condone vigilantism or vigilante behavior, such as taking the law into your own hand or not notifying law enforcement when a suspected crime takes place. We are investigative journalists. Trigger warning. Some of what can be discussed in these videos can be sensitive to some, emotional or stressful. The only goal of these videos is to educate the public. At the end of each video, as of September 1st, 2022, there will be an educational portion at the end to discuss what was talked about in the video and to discuss what people can take from that video and learn from and tell others about. Our goal here is to bring awareness and educate the public. Now the video will start. All right, sounds good, man. Yeah, we can just go to the, go to the uh, front here after you. Our feet are bigger than the stairs. Well, my name is Gordon. Sorry to meet you like this. Sorry. Right. Yeah, man. Uh, what do you do for work? Honestly, right now, nothing. I'm just, I'm a single dad. Okay. So I'm just staying, I'm with, staying with my mom and brother until I can find a job. Yeah. So. What happened with the mom? Uh, she, uh, she moved to California to be with some other guy. Well, I can't blame her for leaving New Jersey, but that sucks for her to leave you like that. Yeah. Damn, sorry about that, dude. Y you managing okay, or? Huh? Managing okay? Yeah. Okay, okay. Um, do you kind of know what I'm here to talk to you about? No. Okay, um, mind if I sit here? Go for it. Thanks. If I break your chair, I'll comp the $3 from the lawn setter. Um, okay, so it's about this uh, lady named Ariel on uh, Facebook. What can you kind of tell me about her? never heard of anybody named Ariel. Okay. Um, what can you kind of remember about her? Like, what, what can ring a bell? I'm not really on Facebook anymore, so I don't, I don't know. Okay. 
So it's the uh, Hispanic chick that was talking to you this month. Um, you ended up blocking her. Uh, You're a smart guy. I, I'm trying to think. I've blocked a lot of people within the past week. Um, if, I, if I'm being honest, my Facebook got hacked a couple months ago. So okay. I, I've been getting, I've been finding messages on Messenger that I've never known about. So I've been blocking a lot of people. Okay. Um, so, yeah. Who do you think was hacking you? I have no clue. Okay. I've had, I've gone through like five different Facebooks already. Got it. By the way, it's voluntary to talk to me, but I think we should. I just want to go over this with you. I know you're a single dad stuff and yeah. try to get your shit together. Um, okay. So at this, at any point, was this one of your Facebooks here? It, that was my most recent one. That's the one that I'm working on trying to figure out what's going on with it. Okay. So are you from Easton, PA originally? Yes. Okay. What brought you here? Uh, I was, I wasn't doing so well in their school system, uh, with, uh, how my dad's been, uh, with how my dad used to be, uh -huh. he used to be a drunk. Okay. So I, I moved in with my mom and, to graduate from out this way. Got it, man. All right, cool. Um, well, so here I have these messages, uh from your profile and a lady named Ariel. Um, about when did you get hacked on Facebook? I'd say probably like beginning of March. Beginning of March, okay. Yeah. So you you have access to it, but you've just noticed a hacker's also in the Facebook. Yeah. Okay, okay. So, do you have like a bone to pick with anybody? Is there anybody that's kind of out to get you or anything? Not that I know of. Okay. Well, maybe one of my exes, but she, I, she doesn't know anything about my Facebook. Okay. Yeah. Would she have? So you wouldn't have given her a password or anything? No. Okay. Anybody you've given your password to? Uh, no. Okay. Are you like famous or anything? Are you like a known person? I wish. Yeah. No. <laughs> Okay. I wish. I wouldn't be living here if I was. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Um, okay, so I have a message here saying, uh, hey. She said, hey, I'm, I'm Ari, Ariel. And on your end, it said, where are you from? She said, New Jersey, how about you? You say, what city? She said, okay. Blah, 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 blah. How, how old are you? I'm 23. Okay. So nobody has like a bone to pick with you or anything? Like nobody's really out to get you or anything like that that you know of? As far as I'm aware, no. Okay. Do you have, uh, on your Facebook, do you have like your date of birth or do you have like, you know, any anything about you on there? Or? I don't believe so. Okay. Do you remember putting in like a date of birth on your Facebook? I remember putting one in so that I can make Yeah, Facebook. make. but do you remember like displaying it publicly for the world to see? Not that I'm aware of, no. Okay. Um, about how long ago did you move out here to New Jersey? Uh, say like five, six years ago. Okay. Got it. Um, do you and your brother get along well? Oh yeah. Oh, okay, nice. He's I guess letting you stay over. What does he do for work? Just curious. He's uh he works at Home Depot. Cool. It's not bad. Um So yeah, I have some messages here between uh, uh Ariel and you and uh so the reason I'm talking to you is because there was some there was some flirtatious stuff said uh, between the two of you guys. Um so this profile you're that you said you have access to um, mentioned that you live in New Jersey. Um, what are some of the messages you've seen some of these hackers like say? Um, well, I haven't seen, I don't remember what uh, whoever hacked my profile uh -huh. said, but I remember uh, people asking me to like buy their nudes and stuff really yeah okay 
So, but that seems people messaging you, that's not you getting hacked. Well, they're messaging me and then they're getting messages from me uh -huh. that I don't remember sending. Okay, so these people that are saying buy my nudes, are, are some of them by chance like a little bit under 18? I, I honestly have no clue. They could be, they may not be, I don't know, I just, I block them. Fair enough, fair enough. So let me ask you this, do you remember just blocking an account named Ariel? Maybe. Okay. I don't. What can you kind of remember about blocking her and maybe why you blocked her? Well, I, I've noticed that there were like messages about like sexual stuff. Okay. So I just, from there, I just went, I just blocked her. Okay. So now you're, you kind of remember who Ariel is now that you blocked her? Kind of. I okay. don't remember the name or anything. I just remember the messages. Okay. So, because uh, I didn't mention sexual stuff one time, I just said a little bit flirtatious, but you kind of remember now that there was an well, aerial yeah. that there was kind of some sexual messages with? Yeah. Okay, okay. Um, is there anything else about aerial that maybe you think I'd be here to talk to you about? Not that I'm aware of. Okay, but you just remember there were some inappropriate things said between the two of you guys. Okay, fair enough. Um, so, Adam, I'm gonna let you know, man. Do you have like a VPN on your phone or anything? I don't trust the v VPN app. Yeah, so no, they're they all, all the apps, all the app ones aren't real anyway. They all yeah. suck, but um, I put your number, I put your name into something called, it's not anything, you know, it's not some hacker shit or anything like that. It's literally just, you can buy it for 20 bucks a month. Yeah. And it kind of, you know, kind of digs up info on people. You are uh, in Easton, PA. That's where you live on. Obviously, you don't live there, but you know that's what it says, right? Sometimes it's wrong. Um, so you gave this address right here um, on. Uh, no hacker would give that. No hacker I, would I know don't that. Remember giving my address to anyone? Adam. No hacker would give that out. Okay. You mentioned you're a single dad, so it makes sense that you may be a little. You mentioned here you're too lonely and that you just want to cuddle with somebody. I get that. Okay. All right. And your first message here. Um, where we said, hey, oop, sorry. Where we said, hey, you've talked to a lot of people on Facebook or tried to. I'm not saying they're all even younger. I'm just saying you've talked to adults, younger people. You just talk to anybody, you're lonely, okay? This is, so you mentioned you got hacked in March. I wanted to ask you that because I have messages from you going back to June of last year, okay? And I'm not saying messages to Ariel, that's June of this year, but I have messages to you going back to June of last year and almost every single opening line you say is, hey, hey, hey. So that's before you got hacked, okay? That's, your, that, that's how you say hi to people. That's, I, I say, you know, yo, or what's up? I'm kind of say the same thing. But this right here can't be a hacker, because a hacker, sure, they may be able to get in your account, but they won't know your speech patterns, they won't know your exact address. You mentioned you're not famous. Nobody gives a about you, Adam. Um, I do, you know, but no, no guy in Nigeria is like, you know, they want people with money. They want old people with money. They don't care about the guy who's struggling, trying to get by in New Jersey, who's 23, okay? So you're young enough that I think we can get this addressed just with a conversation, okay? But in order for us to get it addressed, let's just start over, let's just be honest about it, okay? Because there's a total difference to me. You're, you're a father, you're the only one stepping up for your kid. Your baby mom is, you know, trying to live the California life, okay? So in my book, you're a lot better than she is, but let's kind of start from the top. Um, what kind of happened with Ariel? All right. I, I, I don't know. Okay. Why did I, it happen? I have, I, I have no clue who this who she is. Okay. Did y'all ever meet in person? No. Okay. How did y'all meet in the first? How did y'all meet online then? I, I don't remember anything about her, Ex except for what you're showing me right now and what I have said that I've seen. Okay, but let's not. Uh, you mentioned you don't have a VPN. We also uh, kind. of the messages came from they all came from your phone this wasn't some hacker coming into your phone was there was there any other apps hacked hack besides facebook uh, i've had an instagram that was connected to it that got hacked okay but your actual phone number at all any text yeah. messaging okay all right so you have your number on your facebook um connected to it and if your phone number got hacked there's a possibility your facebook could have but your phone number never got hacked so Therefore, any hacker sending this, it crosses out that possibility there, okay? And I think the reason you blocked her is because, you know, maybe you realize that maybe you said something a little bit too far and you did the right thing and blocked her, okay? So I'm talking to you for that reason because you actually did the right thing, okay? But, you know, 
I'm not here to waste your time. I hope you're not here to waste mine. I respect you too much. I respect fathers who are stepping up for their kids too much to waste their time, okay? So one thing I'm not gonna do is argue with you about whether you sent these messages or not, whether she sent them or not. That's disrespectful to you and it would be disrespectful for me to say you didn't send them, okay? Because I didn't come here because I'm trying to figure out who sent the messages. I came here because I know who sent the messages. I'm trying to figure out why they were sent, you know what I mean? We're past that point of who sent them. It's your name, your face, your personal info. It's just too obvious, right? Any, and you mentioned no other apps have been hacked, right? Um, so you mentioned Telegram on here too. Never said I, that. I don't have a Telegram. We put your phone number in. We see you have one, okay? I, I don't. Adam, it's fine, okay? I'm just saying it would be no different with Snapchat or anything else. So let's kind of start with this. Did she friend you first or did you just find her and friend her? I, I don't know. Okay, were you looking for someone like her? Or did she just kind of find you, or? I've I've added a lot of people okay. on all of my social media, just trying to find friends. Yeah. So I I don't know a lot about anybody. Okay, so this isn't somebody who you went to go meet or anything. Okay. What are some of the things that she talked about with you? I I don't know. Okay, what can you remember? All, I've, all I can remember is what I've said. Is that there were some stuff, okay. Some stuff said in the block. Okay, fair enough. Um, seems like she uh, tried calling you on the phone one time. I have my phone on silent all the time, so okay. I, I don't know. Yep, fair enough. Um, Adam, I, I do want to give you another chance, man, because I, I do like you as a person. I know you're trying to make it, okay? That call's recorded with her on the phone with you, all right? You're not, you're not Eminem with a bunch of little and all that stuff, or you're not some pimp, all right? Nor do I think you'd ever want to be that. But we have that call with her calling you recorded, okay? So it's not, it's not the end of the world because you did the right thing and blocked, but... I just want to make sure you're too young to be falling into this stuff, okay? I want to make sure this never happens again. So part of that is figuring out why it happened, if it'll ever happen again. And right now we don't have either of those answers, but you know, there's right answers and there's wrong answers to that. You know what I mean? Um, you know, if it was truly an, I don't know, I mean, I think what it tells me is that this is a pattern for you that I don't know. Maybe there's just so many uh, younger ladies that it's just too much to even remember. I don't think that's the case though. I don't think I don't think you're out there just clicking on young profiles, trying to message them. I don't think that's you. Um, let me ask this. Was there anybody else besides Ariel that was a younger lady under 18 that messaged you? Not that I know. Okay, she the only one, honestly. Okay. If, if I'm not being honest, as far as I can remember, yes. Okay, okay. So to me, so it says here, she said she was eight years old. Wow, what age do you remember? I don't remember any age being said. If that, I'm just being honest. I don't remember any age being said. Okay. Looks to here, actually looks here, she said she was 12. Okay. Adam, you see how when I said she was eight, you're like, oh, what the f But then when I said she was 12, you're like, See how the reactions are different? Because to the truth, you're kind of silent. To what I'm just you, it's a totally like, no, no way, and you're right. She, she never said she was eight. She did say she was 12, all right? And I have a message here of you reiterating that. You said here, you're 12 years old, but you look 18. I don't remember any of that. Okay. Did she, was she ever uh, suggestive to you? Like, because I don't think people like her should even be online in the first place, okay? I, I don't know. Okay. So, you do remember there was some sexual stuff said between the two of you? I remember some stuff being said. I don't okay. remember what it was. Okay. Well, kind of what I want to know is, 
because you know there's a far cry of like you know some people are into like the bondage stuff stuff then some people are just kind of like you know just say flirty things you know what i mean so what was kind of said from her to you or you to her like was it crazy like that was it kind of like light stuff like i, I don't remember okay well, what do you, what do you think could have been said i i don't know i'm i'm trying to think i just Yeah, I, I know. I know it's hard to talk about, dude. But I'm not. Here, I'm not here to judge about this because if this is a once in a blue moon thing, that's something that we can take care of. Okay. I don't think this is a pattern. I don't think you're. You know, if you were the type to drive an elementary to drive an ice cream truck around the elementary school, that's that. You know, that's one thing, right? But this is something where, you know, it's internet. Okay. But you know, your toes are a little bit dipped in the water, and we want to get you out of that water, all right? But. I mean, work with me on this. This, is a, this isn't me versus you. This is us together figuring this out, getting, this, getting you separated from this type of crap, okay? So, truly, like, what, what could have been said? I, I don't know. Okay. I'm, I'm being honest. I have no clue what could have been said. If I have, if this was me talking, I, I've got a bad memory as it is about a lot of things. Mm -hmm. And I've just... I, I don't know. Okay. Adam, I don't want to play the phone call for you, man. Because we have a phone call with your voice, your face, and everything on it, man. I don't, I don't remember being on call with anybody. I, I, I call a lot of... I'm on call with a lot of people. I just... I don't remember being on call with... That. With who? Anybody. Okay. You're on call with a lot of people from Facebook? Not or? necessarily Facebook, but I've got, yeah. um, I have friends that I'm on call with a lot on like Discord, Discord. Snapchat. Okay. What about Facebook? Like who calls you on there? I think I've got like one friend that calls me on Facebook. Uh, what's their name? I don't really know their real name uh-huh i don't even i think on facebook it's like max something that's it got it so so yeah there's not a lot of facebook call logs from you to other people it was maybe there's one other person maybe it could be that max guy but there is i believe two to just ariel um i think maybe she called you though I, I don't know. Okay. So here we said on your end, uh, if, if I get too flirty, let me know. Unless you want me to be flirty. She said, okay. And here we said, how's your day so far, sweetie? She said, it's good. How about you? And he said, could be better, but I don't have anyone to hang with. She said, all sad. Yeah. Like, are, are you like kind of lonely and stuff? Like honestly? If I'm being honest, kind of. Okay. Do you have like any female friends you hang out with in person? No. Okay. How many people uh, from the New Jersey area have talked to you on Facebook? Whether they're adults, not adults, whatever, just. Like uh, females, yeah, I mean. As far as I can remember, nobody. Okay. Besides her. That's what it says in, yeah, besides her. Besides her, okay. She said, too bad you're so young and too far away. She said, hello, I'm far away. And he said, I think so. Never mind, it's a 30 minute drive. She said, ha ha. Do you drive at all? No. Okay. And you said, but still, I don't think anyone would be okay with you hanging out with any, someone my age. She said, oh, ha ha, why? And you said, you're 12, correct? She said, yeah. He said, I'm 23. Oh, now do you understand? Okay, then. So what kind of separates you from, you know, a lot of other people that could be messaging someone like her is you actually have responsibility. You say that, you know, you're too young for this stuff and all that. Um, I think at some point you just got a little bit carried away for a day or two and then you kind of pushed it back. Maybe. Okay.
yeah, a lot of it was like, how'd you sleep? Good morning, just basic stuff like that. So it, to, to, to me, it really does seem like this is not like a, this isn't like a pattern for you to kind of be messaging her, or her messaging you. Why, why do you think this kind of like uh, happened the way it did? Like just, I don't know. What's your best guess? Um, I, I don't know. I'm not saying it has to be some great, you know, essay answer. I'm just saying, what, why, why do you think this could have kind of, this kind of like maybe got a little bit risque or flirtatious? I, I honestly don't know. Okay. Well, is this something you couldn't control or is it just something like, just felt like doing? Like, well, I mean, I don't know. I, I don't remember what any of the messages really were, and I don't. I I, I don't know. Okay. Well, it kind of matches up because you do mention you're lonely and you said, well, I'm, you said here, I'm desperate for someone to hang out with or cuddle. So if you really wanted to, you could try to convince someone to bring you over here or something. And then you say, my brother has left me alone for the day. My brother's left me alone for the day. Um, he's going to be gone for the night. Do you want to come at night? I don't remember saying any of that. Okay. That's right. You never mentioned your brother here one time. But when I was reading actual messages, like, well, I'm desperate for someone to hang out with, you just kind of, you know, didn't say that you didn't say that. So, Adam, I, I really... Mind if I sit here? Thanks. Adam, I, I really... I really, look, if you were if you were 50, this would be a different conversation, okay? You're 23 with your whole life ahead of you. Just show me the same respect I'm showing you. Do you think there's a lot of people who would kind of, uh, do you think there's a lot of people who would kind of hear some of these answers and just be like, you know, you, you, know, you, you watched SpongeBob growing up? Okay, you know the episode where, uh, where, where, where Man Ray's like, is this your wallet? And Patrick's like, nope. And Man Ray's like, it's your wallet. Yeah, it's yeah. your name. Okay. Do you see what I'm get, trying to get at here with this? Kind of. Okay. Basically, this is your wallet with your name. You know what was said. Um, and I'm like Man Ray, and you're like Patrick, and you're just kind of like being oblivious for no reason. I mean, I understand the reason because you don't want to, you, you know, you don't, you don't want to think that, oh, this guy's going to think that I'm this or that. I don't think that. If I thought you were actually malicious, I wouldn't be here talking to you, okay? It's, it, I think it's more of a loneliness thing. You don't have somebody to help you raise your kid. You don't have anybody to really hang out with besides your brother. And I get that. Do you have any guy friends you kind of hang out with in person? Like once a week, he, yeah. he works a lot. So it's not really, yeah. yeah, okay. Like if I thought this was something where, you know, you, uh, if, I thought this, if I thought this was something where, you know, you're just like, you know, hiding in the bushes, looking at people with their backpacks on, stuff like that. Do you think I'd be here talking to you? Okay. I'm here talking to you because I think this is just a case of loneliness and a case of somebody who just wants either a friend or a partner or something, okay? Like, don't, don't, don't do anything to ruin that reputation that you have with me, okay? Because do you think there's a lot of people who would read these messages and just, you know, give you that leeway and chance? Honestly? No. Okay. So, look, man. Just work with me on this, okay? I'm trying to work with you. I'm not saying, you know... I'm not saying it has to be 50-50. Just give me 1%, because right now you're giving me zero, and that's not, that's not a, Adam, Adam, that's not a way to treat me, okay? Um, it's a respect thing. It's nothing more, nothing less, all right? So, obviously, you said you want someone to hang out with. No hacker would know this address. This is, this is how I came here. I didn't find it on any online thing. I came here because, you know, this was in the messages here, okay? So, what what prompted you to kind of just 
give your address? Like, was it loneliness? Was is this just, you just want to hang out with somebody or did you just want this person all to yourself? Honestly, what was it? It could be a lot of answers, but I'm just trying to figure out which one it is. I, I don't know. I, I don't remember sending anybody my address. Okay. I'm being completely honest. Adam, be a little bit more honest, okay? Don't don't get, you know, I'm, I'm being calm with you, okay? I, I know this isn't like, I, I know this isn't an everyday thing, okay? If this was something you do every day, yeah, you wouldn't remember. But this is, I think this is very specific. Like very, this is very like. I, I, I honestly don't remember giving anybody my address. Okay, but you remember kind of saying some flirtatious things to her. Kind of, just not really. Okay. What do you mean by kind of? I, I, I don't know. I don't know what we, I don't remember what was said. I don't remember anything about the conversation. You just remember the subject matter on it for a little bit? For a little bit, yeah. I, okay. That's it. Well, let, let me ask you this then. Because, you know, this is the part you can't remember. Why did, uh, you know, why did you send those flirtatious messages? Was she flirting with you or did you just kind of bring it up? Or what, like, why did you think you did that? I don't, I don't know. Okay. Well, Adam, there's a, there's a lot of things we don't really, really understand, but what do you think it could, what do you think it could have been? Like, I'm not saying, you know, we can't just rationalize everything, but you know, if you caught me eating chocolate cake with my fat ass and you're asking me why I'm eating the chocolate cake, I tell you, I don't know why I'm eating it. There's really not a good reason to be eating it, but there is a reason I'm eating it. I'm eating it because, you know, I was hungry, just wanted to indulge. That's the reason, you know what I mean? Even though I'm gonna tell you, I don't know. So why do you think maybe some flirtatious things could have been sent? Like what, what, were, what was kind of going through your mind at the time? And I'm not judging you, I'm literally just asking. So I wanna make sure you're at 23 to get this taken care of. Uh, might've been something one of us said it that that honestly all I could think of. It could have been something I either of us had said. So something triggered it, you think? M maybe. Okay. When's the last time uh, you were intimate with a female, like in person? A couple months ago. Okay, so it's been a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So so I'll I'll tell you this. I think if you. Uh, I think if you, the last time you were intimate with a female was yesterday, I don't think you'd be sending these messages. I'll tell you that much. I'm, I'm a guy too. I, I know. I got Okay, I get that. <laughs> All right, so. I mean, come on. You say, you say here, honestly, I don't care about age anymore. To me, that doesn't sound like a, that doesn't sound like a, you know, sounds like a desperation to me. I, I really don't remember. Uh, what, why would this have been said? Just come on. I don't know. Adam, 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 Adam. I don't remember Adam, this being Adam, Adam, Adam. Your memory's not that bad. It's not. Okay, and especially if this is a one-time thing that kind of spooked you a little bit to make you block her, of course you would remember what was said here, okay? You're not somebody that has a lot to hide, okay? If you were, I wouldn't be here right now. So, let's not let this one-time thing, you know, turn into a show. I'm here to get it addressed with you, man, because you are young enough, all right? But even if you're 29, I wouldn't even bother coming and talk to you about this, all right? I'll just take this and figure something else out. So, look, and if she was like five or six, then yeah, we're, that's, that's, an, that's an issue, okay? That's a little bit of an issue. But if she's old enough to have a Facebook, you know, it is, it is what it is, you know. It, the way I look at it is, you know, you enter the arena, you gotta play the game. That's, that's how I look at it. You know, I don't think she should be allowed online, but that's, you know, that's my opinion. I don't know how you feel about that. But, you know, she's talking to you. It's not like, you know, if you were spamming her even, you know, just blaming her for everything, or just, you know, messaging her over and over, that'd be different too. But you weren't doing that, okay? So, what do you think drove you to a point to kind of say this? I'm not judging you, I don't think you're a bad person. I'm just asking, you know, because, on, you, you agree that a lot of people would look at it this, you know, where it says, honestly, I don't care about age anymore. And they would think like, oh my God, why would he say such a thing? You, you get why people would think that, right? Okay. So 
I'm not, I'm not the people that would think this way or that way, okay? I'm literally here because I want to dispel any rumors about this, all right? So let's not throw anybody else under the bus, all right? Your kid needs you to be responsible, all right? You know, you got over in life, okay? So the last person you should yourself over is you, okay? Don't be, the, don't be the one. You're the last line of defense for yourself, okay? Your kid needs you. Is this boy or girl, your kid? Boy. Okay, he needs you, man. He needs you, okay? Teach him those good habits of being responsible so he can grow up to be responsible, so he can have a better life than you did, okay? So let's be responsible about this, man. Because you're a kid to me still, okay? I know you're an adult, you're a father, but you're a kid to me, all right? I promise you, Adam, when I was your age, I was doing the stupidest shit you could think of, okay? Don't think I'm perfect. But what kind of drove you to say this, man? I'm just asking. I'll let I, you... I don't, I don't know. Well, what was going on in your mind to kind of say that or communicate that i i don't know is um, this being completely honest i don't know okay well is this something you always felt or is this something that was like n just new with her like i i wouldn't honestly really go for anyone under the age of 18. okay so what happened with this conversation then? Is this just kind of like a once in a blue moon? Is it just kind of just a slip up or what is it? I don't know. I could have just said it out of desperation or something. Okay. I don't, I don't know. Do you think desperation is the more feasible answer than, you know, you're just a something? Maybe, I don't know. Okay. Because there, I mean, Honestly, I don't care about age anymore. People can kind of look at that and think, oh, that's pretty to say that. But it could be desperate. I mean, do, do, do you think this... So this this wasn't like anything... Pre this is more of a desperation message here, you think? Maybe. Maybe? What does maybe mean? I don't know. I, I don't remember any of this stuff being said. Okay, but you remember blocking her? Yeah. Okay. So you don't you don't have a lot of money to your name or anything? I don't have any money at all. Like dead broke. I'm broke. Like zero zero zero. Oh, like maybe like twenty five cents. Okay. God damn. All right. Okay. So obviously no hacker would want to hack into your bank account. It'd be a waste of their time, right? So here she said, I save up money from chores. I don't have a lot. Lols. And you said I have like fifteen. I guess uh, meant dollars here, you know, not twenty five hundred. You said so. I was thinking, depending on how much you have, I could help pay for the ride. And you said, how do I go to your house if you don't live alone? You said they don't question me about anything, so they won't care. How tall are you? And you said, this might seem weird, but I was wondering if you could be okay with showing me what you look like in a bathing suit. If not, that's fine. Did she ever uh, send you any bathing suit pics? I don't know. Okay. I, I don't remember asking for a picture like that. So. Okay. But you remember being flirtatious with her? Maybe a little, I don't, okay. I don't know. Did you send her any, like, uh, flirtatious pics? I don't send anybody any flirtatious pics. Okay. What time do you usually go to sleep? Whenever the kid lets me. Oh, really? Yeah. So you're kind of like up like 20... It, it, it varies. Okay, so you, you're kind of like an around the clock type of guy? Yeah. Okay, fair enough. Um, okay. 
So yeah, because there were some messages like all scattered, like somewhere at 10.35 a.m., somewhere like two in the morning. So that kind of would line up to your kids just kind of waking you up and all that, huh? Wait, okay. So here y'all had a four minute phone call. Um, and he said, I'm sorry, she said, it's fine. I'm not much for talking, which I can tell you're pretty shy, huh? It's okay. I'm more of a cuddling and watching TV kind of person. She said, well, okay. I just get all nervous and worked up. Okay. So Adam, like I said, we have that call recorded, okay? It's, it's not, you know, I don't think you did anything inappropriate on there or anything like that, but obviously we have your voice on there, your face, your Facebook profile, all that shit, okay? Here, actually, I'll treat you like a man. I'm gonna put these away. I'm not gonna need these to talk to you. Are you just gonna be honest with me? That's all I've been doing. Uh, well. I don't remember any of this. I don't remember any phone call with a young girl. I, I, I just, I don't remember. Okay, Adam. Playing stupid doesn't help, man. I'm, I, I don't, don't, don't get an attitude. Just playing, playing dumb about this isn't gonna help. Okay, I'll pull out the phone call right now and just play it with you. Play it for you. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do that because I don't, I don't feel the need to, you know, make this harder than it needs to be. Okay, Adam, just all you can remember is just flirtatious things being said. Okay, but it's obviously more than that. You'll obviously remember giving your address. All right. You, you mean, you live you live here, no hacker would know that. I mean, this wasn't a hacker on any of it, okay? Because on the phone you would have mentioned it was a hacker and of course you never mentioned it was a hacker. And, um, you know, we went through other Facebook messages that you have to adults and not once do you mention, hold on, my account's being hacked, hold on, my account's being hacked. You don't mention that to anybody. I mean, have you told anybody that your account got hacked? No, because no? Okay. nobody believes anything. Well, like but you didn't tell anybody. You haven't told a single person that. Um, your brother would believe that, wouldn't he? Maybe. Okay, but you never told him, did you? No. No? Okay. Uh, your Discord friends, ever told them your account got hacked? No. No? Okay. I think if you saw your account uh, sending messages to, uh, you know, younger ladies under 18, I, I think he would uh, be the first to say, hey guys, guys, I'm getting hacked, I'm getting hacked. But you never did, okay? because you just didn't get hacked, all right? It's, Adam, it's okay to take responsibility for things because we all make mistakes, man. Do, do you think you couldn't have papers in your hand talking to me about shit I've said or shit I've done? Of course, of course you could, okay? But listen, do you, did you ever play sports growing up? No. Okay, no worries. But, you know, we all make mistakes, right? But it's how we address those mistakes that separate us. Nobody's perfect, okay? I can go door to door talking to people about shit they've done. They can come, to, everybody can come to my door talking about shit I've done, okay? but it's how we address those mistakes, okay? There's people that address the mistakes, you know, they stomp it out, they learn from them, and there's people that just don't take any responsibility for them, and then they make that same mistake again, and then next time it's even worse, and there's no getting out of that mistake the next time, you know what I mean? So, look, I'm, I'm sorry whatever happened to you in life, it sucks what your baby mama did to you, if you don't even want me to call her that. Do you, do you even have any liking of her anymore? Yeah, f that bitch, man, I f I'm sorry about that. Um, you know, not, there's not a lot of single fathers that step up for their kids, man. It's, you know, it's mainly the fathers leaving the kid, but you're, you're different. You're different, okay? So now take this. Some people say stupid shit online, okay? You're not immune from that. I'm sure as hell said stupid shit online. I don't want to show you my DMs. <laughs> I'd be, be all over the place. Um, okay? So be the exception, just like you are with raising your kid. Be the exception. Don't be the same people that just say, blame it on a hacker. I mean, at this point in your life, you can't, you can't not take responsibility. You got nobody to bail you out of this, you know what I mean? There's, there's no mommy coming to help you. There's no dad coming to help you. The only person that can help you is yourself, dude. Is yourself, all right? Like I said, to me, you look like a kid. To me, this is something that we can get addressed. Like I said, if you were 30, 40, 50, game over. I wouldn't even be here right now, okay? So let, let's, figure, let's figure this out, all right? Because obviously, there, there's an issue here. We both know there's an issue, all right? Adam, you telling me you don't know to everything, it's frustrating to me, honestly. I mean, because, you know, obviously I know you know, and you know you know, so it's just a waste of time. But it's okay. 
But you know a positive thing, because I, I look at the positives of everything. You know a positive thing it tells me? You ready for it? It tells me that you actually have regret about this and that you actually feel remorse about it. Because you know what would actually scare the shit out of me? I'm gonna tell you, what would actually scare the shit out of me is if you told me stone cold at the door, everything you said, everything she said, and just said, yep, 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 it was me. What's she gonna do about it? That would scare the living shit out of me. Because that tells me that, you know, you know how like, you know, yeah, they're like, yep, I did it. Yep, uh-huh, it was, yep, uh-huh, yep. I, you know, I took this adult and just, he, you know, put his body in the acid thing. Those people are scary, you know what I mean? People like you who are so, you know, so remorseful about this that they don't even want to like, they don't, they want to pretend it doesn't even exist, okay? I think growing up, do you have trauma from growing up from your dad? I don't remember much about my childhood. Okay. Do you try to block out certain memories you don't like? Maybe. All I, all I remember is he used to be a drunk. Okay. That, that's it. That wasn't a good environment to grow up in, was it? No. Okay. So, so what, what I what I think from what I gather from you is you I think you block out memories you don't like. Okay. So, I don't think you like these memories at all, man. Of kind of her messaging you at all. I don't think you like that. All right. But it's time to bring those memories back and figure out why it happened because that's not something you want to repeat. Because yeah, if I if I caught you with alcohol, you know, I could just you know you know just be come on get your together but with this it's like you know we have to make sure this never happens again adam all right so let, let, let's kind of just start with this all right because we can obviously see you don't have a vpn we can see your facebook's pretty public right you know you're not really hiding anything you're not using you're not using the name jim smith you're using your real name right so let me ask you this let's kind of walk it back all right and i'm not saying you go around the elementary schools or anything stupid like that but there's obviously some type of pattern here with this, okay? And look, if I can get you help for this, I wanna get you help. I don't think you need trouble. I think you need some help for this and or just guidance, guidance from somebody, whether that help is guidance, therapy, anything. But there's obviously a pattern, just man to man, okay? There's a pattern of younger ladies under 18 adding you on Facebook and or you adding them. One way or another, y'all are becoming friends or chatting buddies or something, okay? That's a pattern, all right? You're, you may not have a good memory, but you have pattern recognition. You're a smart dude, okay? I know you're not dumb. Anybody that collects samurai swords has to be pretty cultured and smart, just saying. So let's 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 figure out how that has started happening. When, when, when about did that start happening? Let's start with that. I, I don't know. I don't remember. I don't know anybody's age okay. on, or who adds me. I just... Okay, but Adam, it's, it's undeniable that there's been a few younger profiles trying to message you and on Facebook and, you know, you being the lonely guy you are, you just kind of message them back, no matter what. So, let's, let's start with this then. When about did random people start adding you on Facebook, whether they were younger, older, anything? When did, it, when did you start adding people on Facebook or them adding you that were, like, not, you know, not known to you in person? Let's start with that. Yeah, I've been doing it for years. For years? Yeah. Okay like since you were how old do you think say like 18 okay so past five years maybe yeah okay so would you say you cast out a pretty big net of people you just kind of add randomly i'd say so yeah okay so let's start with so if you cast out a big net, if you're looking for whales or, you know, shrimp, you're going to find some trout in there, right? You're not going to always get what you're looking for. Um, have any of the people that have randomly added you been, like, guys interested in you sexually at all? Or has it always been females? It's mainly been females. I, I tend to talk better to females than to guys. No judging, but any guys talk sexually to you at all? No. Nah. No, that's always been something that's just never happened. Yeah. Okay, so it's kind of been narrowed down to females. Um, what, I know this is hard, it's, it's hard to talk about, but if we're adding people for five years, the chances that they've all been, you know, over 18 are zero, right? That's just common sense, you know? It's like casting out that big net, right? You're gonna get people you don't wanna get, it's okay. About when, I'm not saying you know their exact date of birth or anything, but an age range, right? Like, there's a difference between a two-year-old versus a 14-year-old. Would you agree? 
it's common sense, right? And I don't think you're adding any five or six year olds or anything crazy like that. Um, let, let me ask this, when did kind of younger profiles, because again, they could be adding you, I don't think they should be online, okay? But we wanna diagnose what's been happening so we don't, this doesn't happen again, Adam, you understand? Okay, when, when did younger profiles kind of start messaging you? Um, I, I couldn't say. Okay. I, I don't know when I, I just, it's been like so many people being added. Mm. I don't keep track of a lot of them. I know. Well, it, some of them would stick out, like Ariel and like others, okay? Because all, all the people, yeah, not all of them talk to you, do they? No. Right. I'd say majority of them don't talk to you. But that's how Facebook is in general. I mean, say, say, same with yeah. me. Um, so you started adding people five years ago. I guess a better question is when did the profiles that appeared to be like younger ladies under 18, I'm not talking like five or six, but I mean like, you know, 16, 17, down to maybe 13, 12. When did they start kind of seeping into that friends list or seeping into those messages and all that? Like, was it right as you were adding people at five years ago? Did that take a little bit? Cause I don't know. Uh, could have been within the past like two, three years. I don't know. Okay. So it wasn't immediate. It was more of this kind of happened down the line a little bit. Yeah. Okay. That's fair. So kind of what I've noticed is that when people are online for too much, the algorithms can feed them. Shit. You know, it's like a rabbit hole. You click one thing and then, you know, yeah. so, um, because, you know, it's obviously been more than one younger profile, but it, it's mostly adults. I've seen your Facebook. It's mostly adults on there. I get it. Um, but obviously, uh, you know, if you have five Skittles, one of them's poison. You're still poisoned, right? So, um, okay. So you, for two years, from 18 to 20, it was all 18 plus, kind of kosher. Yeah. And then for whatever reason, Facebook starts feeding you younger. Whether you asked or not, it just kind of starts happening that way a little bit. It might have happened after I had, after my uh, little sister added me on Facebook. Oh, sh yeah. Because to Facebook, that's not your little sister. That's just a young profile. And then, how 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 much younger is your little sister than you? I think she just turned uh, 16, 17. So you're you're 23. So you're about six years older than her. Okay, so uh, here we go. So you're 20, and then boom, teenagers start popping yeah. up when you add her. Okay, well, well, let's let's both thank Facebook for their right. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, that gives me a peace of mind. So you weren't like on the prowl, like going no, into like T. No. Okay, okay. It was more. It was more just like, oh, oh, since you friended your, you know, since you friended, uh, she have. Hey, what's your, what's her first name? Just or. I don't think she used her real name. But she used her pick? Yeah. Okay. Let's just say her name's a Sarah or something, okay? Since you friended your Sarah, you might like now Sue or something, who's the same age as her. Is that kind of what happened? I could be. I mean, that'd be the most... Uh, the most... Uh, that'd probably be the right answer. Okay. It probably might have happened differently, but if I'm guessing, it was probably after I added her. So. Okay, because one way or another, younger younger than 18 profile started getting on your page somehow, yeah. so okay, okay. So, but you never like searched up teen or anything? No. anything. Okay, so you just friended your sister, they saw she was younger, Facebook saw she was younger, they start plugging, you know, I guess, lookalikes in a way. Yeah. Okay, okay, fair enough. Um, so about, uh, so how, how did that messaging kind of go? Like, did, did they start reaching out to you messaging? Did you kind of just message them out of curiosity? How'd that kind of go? Uh, it's been a little bit of both. I mean, obviously I would like to know how old they are uh -huh. to make sure I don't do something stupid. Um, okay. How many, uh... Okay, so you kind of maybe ask for their age and stuff? Yeah. Okay. 
So how many uh, have told you, if you had to guess over the, so maybe we're talking like a two to three year time frame here. Um, if you had to guess, like how many have told you they were like some age under 18? Like we talk in hundreds, thousands, or how many? Probably like a few here and there. So just uh, adult, 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 occasionally somebody younger than an adult, then, yeah. okay. So let's just say for arguments, like a handful maybe. Yeah. Okay, fair enough. Um, so how did the conversation typically go with them? Like, like how do you find out that they're uh, under 18? I usually, as, uh, like after asking how they're doing when I usually ask yeah. how old they are, yeah. Okay, and then they tell you their age? Sometimes. Uh-huh. Other times they just stop messaging me. Okay, and it's, okay. So, on the ages that have been younger than 18, what are the age ranges that you've kind of seen? Like, what is it, does it go down to like four or five, or no. what's the youngest you think? I think, I think 12. Okay. How many 12 year olds? Probably like two or three. Two or three, okay. Um, any recent ones besides her or? No. no. One were the other two, if you had to guess. Okay. So that's a really rare occurrence then. Yeah. Okay. How'd the, uh, how, how'd the uh, conversations go with those other two 12 year olds? I, I couldn't tell you. Okay. Would it be flirtatious or anything like that or? Just honestly, I don't know. I mean, back then, maybe, maybe not. I don't remember how I used to talk to people. Uh-huh. So, so riddle me this. Um, were there situations where you were not being flirtatious, but these, you know, these younger ladies under 18 end up flirting with you and kind of get you into some Probably. How, how would they typically do that? I don't know. I've, I've had, uh, like, 14-year-olds try to get me to buy their Oh, marvelous. <laughs> yeah. Young entrepreneurs, right? Yeah. That, that'd be a crazy way to look at things. What app do they try to get you to buy their nudes on? Uh, they've try I've had people try to get me to go on WhatsApp. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't even know what WhatsApp is. Well, you're white and American, so there's no reason for you to have it. <laughs> yeah. WhatsApp? Do they try to sell them on Facebook, too? I've had a few try to do that. Okay. Obviously, I don't pay for that stuff. Sure, sure. What uh, app do they charge you? Like, like, you know. They, I've had people try to get me to use PayPal or Cash App or something. Okay. Or even try to give them my bank info. Oh, God, Adam. I hope you didn't do that. I don't, I don't even have a bank. Okay. So what do you use to pay people then? I don't, I don't use anything to pay anybody. I don't send anybody any money okay um so you mentioned so i'm curious like this is curious about this um so there's really kids trying to sell their nudes like online like this yeah okay um how much do they typically charge 20 40 bucks and what are they what are they offering in exchange for 20 40 know, bucks maybe like one or two pictures or a full like bundle of things bundle of things like uh it's n normally like the same things that adults would do. Uh -huh. It's like five pictures with like 10 videos or something. Oh, okay, okay. Is this like on like a file or like a link or something? Or how, how do they typically bundle it they, up? They just, I, I don't know. I, I couldn't tell you. I've just had them try to get me to buy it. I don't buy it. Yeah. I just, but is it typically like they use like something like Dropbox or like what, like what, how do they package up what they sell? might be Dropbox, it might be another app like Dropbox. What other apps have you seen them use like Dropbox? I've seen stuff like Megalinks. Megalinks. Terabox and stuff. Okay. Got it. Fair enough. Um, makes sense. Okay. So, so, that, so that's what it is. So, oh my God, man, you're a victim of the Facebook rabbit hole, Adam, dude. Man, getting a job would fix the thick a lot of that, but we'll, we'll work on that. It's all good. Um, okay, so to kind of so to kind of backtrack, get this right. <laughs> you being a good brother, friended your sister on Facebook, 
Facebook took that as a sign that you're going after kids somehow. They yeah. plug all the shit to you. You being the only person that you are, you had some conversations that may, may have been a little bit inappropriate with younger people under 18. Boof, did you ever meet any of them? Okay. Who's the most recent one that was younger than 18 that's talked to you? I, I honestly don't remember. Well, were you talking to anybody else who was under 18 while you are talking to Ariel, or was she the only one, or? I don't think I've been talking to anybody else. Okay. So, so now that, so now kind of, let's kind of go back to kind of the way where we were at the start. Um, now that there has been some conversations, more of kind of Facebook forcing this onto you rather than you kind of initiating, which sucks, but I can look at it that way. I mean, I understand where you're coming from. Um, now that we have some clarity, because you were probably thinking like, you, you were probably thinking that I think that, oh, you're just on looking out for these types of things and you just want this. That's probably why you weren't telling me about Ariel. But now since you actually told me that you friended your sister and then people just sort of kind of flowing in, that makes, uh, that makes me more understanding. I'm sure that makes you more comfortable to actually, you know, figure out what happened with this shit because it seems like, you know, once you take that first step, you know, you're taking step two and you're like, oh, what am I doing? Then you're at step three by that point. You know what I mean? So let's kind of backtrack. Let me just ask you this straight up. I think you're more more open to answer this now. What prompted you to give Ariel your address? If anything, probably just... I don't know, probably just somebody new to talk to, hang out with. Okay. So this is more of just you wanted a... Uh somebody else in your life in yeah. a way okay how many times did you give your address to her probably like once once i don't, I don't normally give my information out to anybody so wh why her do you think i don't know could there be any re i mean i don't think you, i don't think if i was messaging you like if gordon was messaging you on facebook i don't think you know i asked for your i don't think you'd give it to me so yeah so why, why'd you give it to her like what do you think it was oh, probably just or what about her um, made you want to give it? I don't know. I think from what I can remember, I think she was like very uh, adamant about coming out this way or something. Okay. How far does she live? I, I don't know. I, I don't remember. Did she ever say like how many minutes she was away or anything like that? Not that I know Okay. What state did she say she was from? Uh, I think Jersey. Okay, fair enough. Um, how, was she, how was she supposed to get here? Like, what was she... Uh... Uh, I think she said something about, like, Uber or something. Okay. Did she... Okay, so that, that could be where you said, I got 15 bucks to help with the ride or something like that. Okay. Yes, yeah. Okay, okay. So she didn't. So she didn't say anything about that. She drove or anything like that. Okay. So just straight up, I'm not judging, dude. I, I get it. Like, Facebook really f a lot of shit up here. Yeah. So you, you understood she was 12 and you were kind of talking to her that way. So honestly. Yeah. Okay. Do you feel good about that? No. Okay. Um, but you knew damn. I mean, just asking. But you knew damn well when you were kind of talking that flirty talk. You knew she was too young to be saying this to. Yeah. Okay. Um, so I, I do want to go over a few of these messages. I'm not going to read all of them. You've been so honest and cooperative. I mean, dude, I'm not, I, I want to get this resolved. I don't want to make this, you know, a shit on Adam party. I'm not here for that. Um, so you said, hello, I've been horny for a while. Um, I said that? Yeah. Wow. So let, let's kind of, let's kind of walk back a little bit more. Let's go back to that bikini picture. Um, did she ever, uh, did she ever end up sending you that, uh, bikini I've photo? never gotten a picture. I think the only picture that she sent was that, was the first one. Which was what? I like her face. Okay. Okay. So you remember her sending a selfie? Yeah. Okay. Um, so let me, again, 
I'm not judging. I get being lonely. I get not having that partner. I, I, I get it, man. But, you know, let's just have a real talk moment with this. Here you asked her, okay, so then if you want, you can send a video of you and I can tell you if you're doing a good job or we cannot speak of this again. So you gave her that choice, which I appreciate. And she said, how do you touch yourself? And you said, you rub your and put one or two fingers inside it. There's a hole there. So why'd you kind of ask her for a video? Just what was kind of going on there with that? I, I honestly don't know. I don't remember talking like that nah, to her. We, we're too far at this point. I, I'm, to, I'm being honest. Adam, I, I don't. Adam, we're too far at this point to not remember that, okay? Just come on. Why'd you ask her for it? I'm just asking. I, I don't remember asking it. Okay. Well, you mentioned Flirty Met. You remember giving your address. You remember she was 12. You remember you asking for Flirty Messages, saying Flirty Messages. That is a set of Flirty Message. I mean, I don't think you just told her straight up, I want to f or anything like that. It, it could have been heat of the moment. Like, I was probably talking to somebody else that mm -hmm. was, like, talking that way and okay. whatnot. I, I don't, I honestly don't remember sending that to anybody, though. Okay. And here you said, would you ever try it? As in try touching yourself. Did you, uh, so you said a true, if anyone questions anything on babysitting, um, you said, is there a park near where you live? Did you ever give her like a park or something? Maybe. What park would that have been? Probably like. Okay. So it makes sense. If I did. Okay, yeah. so it makes sense. Okay. Probably going to play Yu-Gi-Oh. Do you, do you still play Pokemon cards? Oh, yeah. Nice. Is your, I, I, uh, me, my brother, my kinda, cousin, nice. and like my uh, friend, like once a week we get together. Yu-Gi-Oh, Pokemon. That's good, man. Whatever. Did you play the DS games as a kid? No. No? My dad would not give me a game system. Based. First game system I ever had was a Wii, uh -huh. and I was like four or five and I stuck a butter knife in trying to get a disc that was stuck out. Oh man, I that. damn. Yeah, man, I played Pokemon Diamond and Pearl and Platinum as a kid. You remember the Pokemon Giratina, whatever it was? No. No? You remember Dialga, right? I, no. You're, so you're more of the old school Pokemon guy? Like? I, I, we've got the cards, we've got the newer games for like the Switch and stuff, uh -huh. that's it. Okay, okay. The only thing I need some more clarification on right now, Adam, is, uh, you know, you mentioned there's 14-year-old girls trying to sell you nudes and all that stupid shit. Um, so, I'm not naive. Do I think they're coming on to you? Yes. Do I think they're extremely inappropriate and probably ask a lot of guys to buy their shit? Yes. Does that mean that you didn't say anything stupid to those girls? No. Obviously, you did. You said some probably some regrettable shit to them. You know, we don't need to get into detail, but, um, you know, I, I mean, I'm not wrong, am I, about that? Um, well... Normally, when I get stuff like that, I just block people right away. Sure, sure, but I'm not. I mean, I'm not wrong about you said some flirtatious things to younger people you shouldn't have said that have been under eighteen. I'm not wrong about that. Okay, I mean, why why even waste time going over that, right? Um, so this, I'm not saying it's it's a. I'm not saying it's who you are, but I'm saying it's a pattern, right? Like. You know, I, tr I try not to say I'm, I try to say I'm not a fat ass, but I have a pattern of eating too much food and that needs to stop, right? So, being that we've had some sexual conversations with minors before, um, <laughs> I don't think you remember this whole thing. Then go blank when you know we talk about the video. Luckily, she didn't send it to you, which is fine, and you didn't press her for it. If you pressed her for it, there'd be probably be an issue with that, okay? But you, you asked, all right? I do want to know truly why you asked for that video from her. Don't say you don't remember, because I know you do. Just why'd, why'd you do it? That's all. It was probably heat of the moment from talking to somebody else. Okay. And then I went to talking to her. I don't, I don't know. Okay. Do you remember asking her twice for it or just yeah. once? Probably like once. Okay. Did she, because I only have what's printed out, you know. Um, 
She could have always unsent something. Did she ever end up sending a video like that to you? I don't remember getting any videos from anybody. Okay, so. got it. Maybe you unsent something? Like, did you ever, after she didn't send it, did you did you ever press her, like, hey, send me this video, send me that? Did you ever press her at all? Not that I know of. Okay. So this was only like a one-time ask or something? Most likely, yeah. Okay, okay. Um, so you also talked about like kind of watching TV, cuddling. What kind of happened with that? Like, what's the deal? Uh, I'm just watching TV. Okay, is that just kind of something you like to do? Yeah. Okay. So is that like your ideal date with a female, just watch TV, cuddle, stuff like that? I've never actually been on a date. Okay. So I, well, I wouldn't know what to do. Okay, well, well, I guess the question is what was kind of going on when, and I'm not saying it's a bad thing, I mean, I like to cuddle, watch TV too, but what was kind of going on when you asked her like, hey, do you want to come cuddle, watch TV, stuff like that? Uh, I was probably just, I've been asking a lot of people that. Okay. So. She was just one of the many? Yeah. Okay, fair enough. Um, okay. So, um, I, I do want to ask Adam about, uh, about Telegram. Because, you know, when I told you, like, we've seen messages to other people that have been, you know, not always just kids, over 18 too, you know. Um, we can also see where it's like, go to my Telegram, add me on Telegram, this and that. You know, there's a lot of that going on on Facebook. Um, I'm not too familiar with Telegram, though. Did you uh, get Telegram as soon as you got Facebook, or this kind of happened a little bit after as well? If I did get Telegram, uh, it might have been, like, later on. Okay. About what time frame, you think, did you get it? I don't know, maybe, like, a couple years later. Maybe around the same time that you added your sister? Maybe. Okay. But this wasn't like, all right, so it wasn't anything like, all right, I'm going to get Facebook, I'm going to get Telegram, and now we're going to just do go on a prowl. Okay, so it was more like, it just kind of happened. Yeah. Okay, fair enough. Um, okay, so you mentioned in the messages, Telegram's a new one to me. I, I've heard it's like some encrypted app or something like that. That's what, that's what they advertise it as. Um so I see, I see in the messages you mentioned it's sexual and inappropriate for her. What's kind of... What I've noticed, uh, noticed about everything, a lot of the things on stuff like Telegram is just a bunch of... Yeah. Okay. Are these like groups or is it like individuals, kind of both? How does that kind of work? Sometimes it's groups. Sometimes you'll get like an individual trying to get to uh, trade with them and stuff. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Um, are these groups, like, what language are they usually in? I, I don't know, probably mainly Chinese. Okay, so foreign, foreign, what other language, what, what other languages have you seen? Yeah, I've mainly seen, like, Chinese, Japanese, and English. Okay. Gosh, so, I know those foreigners online get pretty crazy with <laughs> Um, well, this is kind of important to ask before we go with more because you know there's a big difference and especially because you know we have a kid at home uh it's important to ask this are any of the things being shared uh in those dms or in the groups are those any of your pictures that you took yourself no okay you sure about that yeah okay so you could swear to god about that and all that okay all right so that gives me a peace of mind because yeah you can probably see why there'd be an issue if that was you behind the camera on some of those right let me, let, now let me just ask you this. Would you ever be behind the camera on any of those pictures? Like, would you ever, have you ever had a thought to like take a picture like that or anything? I've thought about it before the kid. Okay. Um, one night, but since him, I haven't really thought about any, any of that. Kind of like your parent, parental interest. Okay. So, um, you mentioned it's they share in the groups. Um, you know, I'm not oblivious. If you want adult, you go to, if you want child, you go to Telegram. Okay, I'm not oblivious to how that works. So I had people try to get me to send stuff about my kid, and I'm just. Uh, yeah, what did they ask for? Like that bathing videos and whatnot, and like, what's just 
Why? And they asked us like on Telegram. I've had it on like, um, I've had somebody on like, uh, Tumblr ask about it. Yeah. And I'm like, what? Okay. Would you say the people asking for those bathing videos are probably? Yeah. Okay. So how's the conversation like before they ask for that video of your kid? Like, hey. friendly, normal conversation. And then they kind of just go into that dark. Yeah. Okay, got it. Um, do they ever offer you money for stuff like that? Like, do they ever say, "Hey, I'll pay"? I've, I've, I've had somebody offer me like five thousand dollars, but I have to like pay like fifty dollars to get the money. Oh yeah, I'm sure that's I'm sure that's an investment that'll pay off, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> But have they ever offered you money, like to say, "Hey, take this take this video of your kid, and you know, I'll give you this money"? No, no, okay. Um, fair enough. But they have asked for like bathing videos and all that. Did those people um, that asked for bathing videos of your kid? Did they ever, in return, say, "I got something of my kid that I'll send you" or anything like that? Uh, not that I can remember. Okay, what have they offered in return for that? Just themselves. Okay. Who are the people usually asking? Are we talking like older men, ladies, or who? I, I couldn't tell you. It's been like pictures of women. It could be older guys. Yeah. Okay, just weirdos, huh? Yeah. Okay. Well, let's kind of talk about these Telegram groups. Um, being that you said none of the pictures in there were yours, that gives me a giant peace of mind. Because in the end, you're a father. I am a father. Yeah. We want to make sure that, you know, kids aren't being hurt. Um, so, in these Telegram groups, are they usually posting like pictures, videos, both, or how, how do they come? Whatever groups I've been in, I've got, I've seen like pictures and videos of mm -hmm. like uh, just role playing stuff. Yeah. Um, but I, I do know there's some trying to sell like child and stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I mean, you mentioned Meg. I, I do know a lot about Megalinks, and I know... I've, no, I've heard about it, like, once or twice. I know, I know nothing about it. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I, I, I guess that's a normal reaction to have to that, trust me. But, um, you know, I know once people are offering Megalinks to you that, you know, they've they put you into some pretty bad shit, okay? Um, but being that you said you didn't create any of these groups, unless you're fluent in Japanese, and I don't know about that, and you're just, you're just you know... I, I wish. You're the Bitcoin creator behind the scenes or something, but... Um, <laughs> you know, I don't think that's the case here. Um, I am interested, though, because I do want to get you separated from these people. Um, straight up, pretty much like how I know we were on the phone call. Look, it's kind of like with Facebook feeding you. Idiots on Telegram and put you into groups with child. Okay, that's just an indisputable fact. It's not something we can, you know, not it's inarguable because it's right there, right? But how do, how do you think they found you to put that you're in those groups? Or how did you find those groups? How does that kind of go about? I honestly don't remember i've clicked a couple of the groups off mm -hmm. like uh tiktok and stuff Where tiktok allows that yeah wow anyway yeah, go on yeah the link tree stuff oh so everybody uses so like, you're okay yeah you click on this link, yeah you get this stuff click on this link you get other stuff so basically you're on a pretty pg platform like tiktok facebook you hop on and you're just in a world of pretty much yeah. okay how many groups do you think they put you in with child in those groups i i think i've gotten out i've gotten myself out of like two or three okay got it yeah it looks to be about how many uh, we saw you in i think maybe two but um what were the uh so they were posting pictures and videos in there and all that stuff i think so okay fair enough hey um i'm only asking you this because you're a father and you know it's your duty to save all kids not just yours but obviously your, yours comes first that's fair but you know if we can identify any of these kids in the videos man that's a giant plus um so let's uh so so let's kind of uh go with in these uh telegram groups are they posting like we talking like boys girls both or i, I don't remember i've got i've, I've been out of that stuff for a while now so. okay well i'm not asking you because you don't remember i'm asking because i know you remember and it's stuff that we can work on together to try to separate you from these people so i'll ask one more time um what are they posting in the groups like boys girls both i i'm being honest i do not remember i haven't been on telegram in about a year or two so. okay so why'd you get off there bunch of bullcrap okay how, how'd you feel about 
you know, when people would post videos like that of the younger stuff, like how did that make you feel? I'm just disgusted. You're disgusted? Okay. So, I'm allergic to, sh to salmon, okay? And the last time I had salmon was when I was 10 years old, so about 20 years ago, okay? Um, it's disgusting to me. I remember exactly what it tastes like. I can describe it where I was. I can describe how much I vomited after having too many pieces. I can describe it all, okay? So when you have any, or if you were just some sociopath, oh, I didn't feel anything, yeah, I wouldn't ask you again because you wouldn't remember. But since you're actually disgusted, you do remember. Do you, have you seen the video? No. Do you know what it is? Yeah. Okay. But, you, okay, you're aware though that the story is okay, but you've never seen the video. Of the okay, have you seen a car crash video? I've seen plenty. Right. They're like all over now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you seen videos of like people robbing stores and yeah, like you know shoot, shootings and all that stuff? Yeah. Okay. Do you enjoy watching videos of people robbing stores and no. shooting people? Okay. So, but you can pretty much describe what happens, right? They walk into the convenience store, they put their gun up, they shoot something. You can describe it, right? So, don't think it's any different with, you know, the younger videos they're posting in these groups. Yes, it's disgusting to you. Obviously, it is. I don't think I'd want to have a conversation with somebody who, like, you know, oh, yeah, I loved this. Yeah, that's weird. Um, obviously, I know it's disgusting to you, okay? But, you know, I do want to help try to identify these kids, like some of the races of these kids, this and that, all right? So yeah, it's disgusting. Just like I wouldn't want to watch it either, but if I, you know, if, if you saw someone burn your neighbor's house down, that doesn't mean you did it, but you can probably try to remember who did and try to, you know, get them, right? You know what I mean, Adam? Probably. Yeah, yeah. Or at least you would try your best, right? Unless you hate your neighbor, you, you know, you don't have to tell me. <laughs> Seems like there's some history there. But, um, so that, that's, that's what I want to know, man. Um, so you mentioned there's like two to three groups where they kind of placed you in of this stuff. Um, that's why it's important to narrow it down. Were these groups like only for girls, only for boys, or kind of mixed? That that's kind of it could have been mixed. Okay. It just been separate. I I honestly do not remember. I've been put into the groups, mm -hmm. then I've just left them. Okay. I, I don't want to be a part of that cell. So. Yeah. Oh, oh, I know you don't. I know you don't. But here's what I'm going to let you know. Um, so you know I told you like we could see when you were in groups. So that only shows up if you were in the groups for one week or more. All right, so if you were in there, if you just went in, immediately left, we wouldn't be able to tell you when in the first place. Like it doesn't hit the system until you're in there for a week. You know what I mean? Because the reason why we haven't said it that is because a week gives ample time to just, you know, to say it wasn't just, uh, it wasn't, you know, oh, I stepped in the wrong door, I'm right out, you know. In a week, you have your chance to leave, you know what I mean? And I'm not saying you didn't leave, okay? I'm not saying you liked it, but we know you were in there for longer than a week, and that's okay. Um, but, you know, being that you were in there for longer than a week, like, Adam, I, I, like I said at the beginning, I'm not gonna here to disrespect you. I wouldn't waste your time if you wouldn't know. Like, do you know the uh, Pythagorean theorem? No. Okay. Do you think I'd be a piece of shit if I were to ask you for an hour and a half straight about that? Yeah, it'd probably yeah. It'd be pretty irritating, right? Yeah, come on. You, you know, tell me all about the Pythagorean theorem. Tell me about uh, Socrates. Tell me about, uh, you know, General Erwin Rommel from World War II. Tell me about these people. You wouldn't know a damn thing. And if I were to ask you over and over, it'd be and you'd rightfully probably punch me in the face. But if I'm asking you about, you know, certain they post in the groups on Telegram, I'm asking this because we know, not because you don't know. So I wouldn't waste your time with that. Like I said, I keep my word with that type of stuff, okay? So it's all right. You told me it wasn't your videos. I'm taking your word for that fully. I fully believe you. So now let's kind of turn this around and separate yourself from these assholes posting this. Okay, let's do that. So let, let's start with this. Was it mostly girls or mostly boys that were posting or what do you think it was like 50-50? Might have been 50-50. I, I genuinely don't know. If I didn't physically leave the group, I may have just not went back into the messages. We can see the activity logs too. So just come on. Just come, what, well, I'm being honest. Adam, was I it don't, Adam? Don't fight me on this. Was it was it mixed or was it more one or the other? I, I don't know. I don't remember. Okay. Well, what can you kind of remember about these groups then? It's not nothing. It's obviously you know there was Probably, young. People. I, I think all I can remember is just people just talking. 
that's all I can honestly remember about any of the group. Any okay. of the. But you mentioned they're posted videos and pics. Yeah. Okay. I, I've, it's all blurred out for everybody, so you gotta like click on it to see it. Okay. I I've, I've just like. Okay. So so that makes sense because you know we saw that they were clicked on, so it kind of. Cause that's how WhatsApp is. So what? So it's basically it's a blurred image. You click on it, then something pops up. I guess, yeah. Okay. So, um, so let's kind of uh, talk about some of the age ranges that you saw in these groups. Um, I've seen people talking about like five to like seventeen year olds. Okay. Anything younger than five? No. Okay. Not that I can remember. Okay. So. Do you know if they were kind of talking about like girls, boys, they specify a gender with that or? I don't remember any specifications. I remember an age range and then I remember clicking on like a couple things and uh -huh. it was like people getting beat up or something. <laughs> Come on, it, man. It, 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 it all Come on, Adam. Different things. I don't remember a lot of things. I've seen like dogs and animals getting okay car accidents people getting into fights adam you know i had a coach in high school you know there was a guy named richard that played running back for us and you know my coach would always say to him you're taking two steps forward and three steps back you make great progress you're cooperating you're actually separating yourself from these assholes that's a two steps forward and then you try to tell me that people are posting world star on telegram that's the three steps back because we both know that ain't true um and that, you know it's okay you're a kid to me man you're a kid and i get it man when i was when i was 23 dude believe me i was the same way but you know let's not make the same mistakes i did right um so <laughs> there was people and yeah you were about to say there's animals on there that's what you're about to tell me but you caught yourself um right. sexual animals yeah, I know you don't like it, but, you know, I know damn well, you know, they were posting it. Um, okay, so let's just kind of, uh, obviously I can prove to you with records that we know kind of what subject matter would be that what was clicked on, but um, I'll just tell you with logic, like any records, anything else but logic, right? Because logic's the main thing here. Nobody's talking about five to 17 year olds and posting a video of uh, two high schoolers fighting. That just doesn't make any practical sense. Um, I don't need the records to prove that. I could just prove it to you because I have an IQ above 10. Um, so there was some stuff clicked on. We can see that, all right? But if you're clicking on it, that means you probably wouldn't make it yourself. It's probably what some other sent. Well, so let me ask you this. Did you, did you ask them to send you anything? No. Okay. So this was just randomly put in a group. You just happened to click on it. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. So, so that stuff you clicked on, um, and again, accidental clickage or just clicking on stupid shit. It is what it is. Okay. We've all done it. Um, the stuff that was clicked on, what, what was kind of being shown the truth, not some fight videos that actually, I'm mean, only interested I've in the seen, truth. I've seen fight videos. I've seen a lot of shit. Okay. I don't... Well, fine, fine, fine. Whatever. Uh, I won't fight you on that. Let's talk about like the, because I want to kind of find out who's posting this, who's producing it, you know, the stuff of kids and sexual stuff that you clicked on, what was happening in those? I'm only interested in that. I, I think I've seen like pictures of kids at the beach or something. Okay. I don't necessarily remember seeing anything sexual going on, but I, I have seen like kids in like bathing suits and stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, Adam, uh, if you clicked on anything like that, it wouldn't show up for us. We only uh, get dinged for uh, actual nudity, okay? So, again, if other people are posting it, 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 it's more of, you know, it's kind of they're doing the Facebook, that what Facebook did to you. They kind of put you in this, shit, okay? But let's get separated because, I, you know, I do have some follow-up follow questions after you tell me the truth about what was clicked on to try to maybe narrow down who posted it and where it came from, because that could help out a lot. Of course, I would leave you out of it if I find out who it is. I wouldn't mention that you told me that, okay? That's a promise, all right? Um, so let's let's go with the nudity of, uh, of kids. What, what was clicked on with that? Just be honest. If I have clicked on anything, it probably would have been like parents doing stuff with their kids. Okay. Or like, so these would be videos of that happening? 
videos, pictures, maybe. Okay. I don't remember. So, so a parent doing things with their kid. So let's try to get that narrowed down. Was this like a mom or a dad, or have you seen both? I've, it might have been both. might have been one or the other. Okay, well, let's kind of, uh, let's take one that you can remember, okay? I'm not saying you remember every video. That's not fair of you to say, because I, I used to watch a lot of I can't remember every video. That's not fair for me to ask I you that. I can't remember any video I've seen on no shit. it's been so many right <laughs> okay but you know when it comes to grotesque things like you know parents abusing their kids that stuff we is kind of etched in our mind right so let's take a video you can remember of a parent i, I hate to say this word but kid right because that's what it is would you agree okay so was this some so what kind of happens in, in this on one video you can remember of that like how old did the kid uh, look i think i've seen like mom's doing stuff with their sons or how old did the son look probably like 10 i don't know 10 okay but obviously a kid yeah okay what was she doing to uh, her son i i don't know um if i if i had seen something i i, I don't know mom doing stuff with her son you would obviously know there's something is the thing she's doing to her son sexual Maybe, I, I don't remember. If I've seen anything like it, I, I honestly don't remember. Adam, it's okay to remember. It's, it's okay to just tell the truth about that because I do, let's, let me ask this, what race was the mom and the kid? I, I don't know. Well, were they white or brown? I, I don't know. Okay. So let's try to get this. About how long are these, like are these like, we talking 30 minute videos or are these like clips? How, how long are these videos usually? Probably like a couple seconds long. Okay, so, God, it's like, it's just so fresh, because I know you don't want to say it because you think that that would mean that I think you like that stuff, which I know you, I, I know I you do. I just try to ignore it all. I know, I know. But it's pretty important to bring that memory back so we can actually, you know, get the real bad guys here. You understand that? Because I don't want you looped in with these people, Adam. Because you understand why people can think you'd be looped in with them? Let's not, let's, let's not let those rumors happen, okay? So I know you want to forget it. I know you don't like speaking it out because it grosses you out so much, but, you know, we're already here, right? It. What's the mom doing to her 10-year-old in that video? I, I, I don't remember. Like, physically don't remember. Okay. Well, is she holding his hand or patting his back, or is it? I don't know. Well, let me ask you this. Did the video gross you out? A lot of them have, a lot of them haven't. Okay. Did, did the videos that gross you out with the kids and their parents, did they gross you out because they're sexual in nature? Sometimes. Okay. Other times it's just like, putting them in like an abusive punishment or something. Okay. So, to, so you've seen videos where they're just straight up like, you know, it's like an alcoholic parent just hitting their kid. Yeah. And you've seen other videos where the parents are like, their kids or something like that. Uh, yeah. Okay. So let's describe that. It's just such a weird thing to say. Whatever. It. Let's describe that. Is it like intercourse? Is it they're just touching their kid? How does that usually work? I, I can't remember. Sometimes. It, Sometimes probably, what? Uh, intercourse or touching. It's, okay. So it's been a combination of all that shit happening in these I groups? I, I physically don't remember. Okay, well let's 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 let me ask this: Are these videos in the groups? Are they posted? Are these like links to the videos, or are they just post the videos in the group straight up? It's like in the group. Okay, so it's not like you click another link in the group; it goes to it. It's just they post in the group, just willy nilly like that. Yeah. Okay. Um. So, I, I guess uh, kind of a better way to phrase it, so we can make you just comfortable to kind of snitch on these assholes. Um. What videos have you, because you mentioned sexual videos engrossing out with their parents and their kids. What, what have you seen them not do? Like, have you seen them, like, have you seen them, like, their kids or anything where they, like, you know, tie their kids up or anything like that? No. Okay. So that's crossed out, right? So you, you, you can for sure say you've never seen anything like that? Okay. So what other things have you seen, have you, are you for I, sure? I know I've seen kids drinking and smoking and stuff. In these videos? In, in some of the videos, yeah. Okay. But, that, that I, I know. Okay. But what have you, what have you not seen? Like, I, like. I, 
couldn't really tell you. It's a lot of stuff. It's I don't know. Okay. So there's a chance we probably saw a parent kids or you just don't remember any specific detail no. okay but you do remember that you know you've probably seen uh but you, you remember you've probably seen videos of parents like just kids. probably yeah okay how often would they post these in the groups i don't know like maybe like once or twice a day okay got it <coughs> so straight up man like i told you earlier i don't think you need trouble i think you need help what 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 brings you just man to man anything else what brings you to watch those videos i don't watch I mean, they blur, blurred out, but like to watch them, you need to like go into them and like watch them in full screen. But you can click on them to unblur them without going into the full screen. Well, Adam, the reason why I'm asking you what brought you to watch them is because the records show that you watched them, and you're describing what was in them. So I'm not asking, you know, no beating around the bush. Um, just it, this isn't me trying to like say, oh, f you, Adam. This is me trying to find out how we can get you help for this. What brought you to watch those videos? Straight up, that's all I want the answer to. That's all I'm interested uh, in. A lot of the groups are like, okay, we're posting this, and then it's just these other things getting posted. Fair enough, but you know, <laughs> I, I hate to tell you this, but by watch the video, it shows up in our system as you've watched 75% of the video. So it's no accident at that point, is what I'm saying. So straight up, Adam, what prompted you to go watch those videos? It, this isn't like, at this point, we can't blame anybody else for this but you, because that, that's a choice at that point, okay? And it's a bad choice, but is it a choice that needs to define you for the rest of your life? No, that's why I'm asking you about it, all right? If I was just writing you off like any of these other that would do this, um, then I wouldn't be here talking to you, okay? So what prompted you to go watch basically child videos? It's okay. I, I don't remember watching it. You described them to me. You told me what happens in them. I could see like the image of unblurring them and that's all I could see. Yeah, but Adam, I know how that works. It, it gets unblurred, it starts playing. I, I know how that works, okay? Parents doing the shit with their kids. You said you've seen intercourse and all that. So Adam, look, it, you know what's up right now? It's not like it's alcohol where you can go to an Alcoholics Anonymous, and, you know? It's not like it's like a drugs, you know, where you can go to rehab for this. There's nobody to help you out with this. And that sucks. That sucks. I'm willing to help you out with it. I'm willing to get you those resources, okay? It, but it sucks. You can't just go to a, you can't just go to a child anonymous. And that's not fair. It really sucks. It's too stigmatized, I think. But you know what's the worst thing you possibly do? Bottle this up, go raise your kid with this in your mind, and this never gets helped because you understand there's going to be a bigger slip up one day if it doesn't stop now. You get that, right? You can tell me it's going to stop. I'll believe you. But until we get it all out to find the why, you can't go the rest of your life without slipping up. That's impossible, man. Like I've told myself, you know, I'm going to stop this and that. Two days later, I'm jacking my off. All right. It's probably happened to you too. All right. So believe me, I know. So straight up, Adam, straight up, man to man, I'm looking into your soul right now because I care about you, because I care about that kid in there, just like you do, okay? What prompted you to go watch that stuff? I don't know. I'm being honest, I don't remember watching anything. I mean, I know what happens, I just... When you know what happens, that means you watched it, okay? Just like I know what happens in a robbery video, that means I watched the robbery video, okay? You, you tell, is it like a morbid curiosity? Do you get off on this? It has, it's something, it's something. You, you, Might be curiosity. I know I wouldn't get off on it. Okay, but just, yeah. what prompts you to watch these videos in full length is what I'm asking. Don't tell me you haven't because I'm, what are you gonna argue with the internet? No. I, I don't remember watching videos in full length. Okay, I'm sorry, the majority of the videos. Like enough to know that this, this kid is getting That That's what I'm asking. Like what, what, what's, what, what made you curious about that? It, it's, I'm not judging you, Adam. I really, I really am not, dude. You know, I'm calm with you, man. I really am not judging you. What I, what I judge is how you respond to problems, right? Okay. If you respond to it in a good way, I'll judge you in a good way. But you know, the problem itself, everybody has their vices, dude. That's, that's just, you know, your vice happens to have a stigma and I don't think that's fair. So what prompts you, what, what, what makes you curious about kind of getting in these groups, watching these videos straight up? I'm just asking you. 
I don't know. How long have you been curious about it for? Oh, maybe like a couple of years. A couple of years. Okay. Have you told anybody about this? No. Okay. Do you think your brother would be understanding? God, no. Okay. So, has it been going on since you were 18 or a little bit after that? or Maybe a little bit after. Okay. So, just one way or another, you kind of, you just kind of fell into like a child rabbit hole a little bit. Yeah. Okay. So, man to man, shake my hand on this. How often do you, do you watch this? And, I, and I, dude, you could tell me five times a day, I'm gonna have the same reaction as if you tell me you don't watch it at all, which we know both are probably not true. I don't think you're watching it five times a day. And I also don't think, you obviously don't, you obviously do watch it, you know, so it's not zero. So I'm just asking you man to man, because let's get you some help for this dude. Let's, let's make sure this doesn't happen again, right? Isn't that the best thing possible? Let's just make sure it doesn't happen again. Let's get this out of your system. How often do you watch the, this child stuff, Adam? Yeah, I'm on Telegram like once a week. Okay. And that's what you're on there for, just asking? No. Okay. But that just happens to come up once a week or? Yeah. Okay. So it's fair to say you probably watch, is it fair to say you probably watch child a couple times a month then? Yeah. Okay. So, is, and this has been going on for like a few years? Maybe a couple of months. Okay. But you mentioned it a few years ago is when the curiosity started. Yeah. Okay. So let, let, me, let me ask you this, man. Um, I think the reason you didn't tell me earlier, how old's your kid, by the way? Two. Two? I think the reason you, you told me five to 17 earlier is because you have a two-year-old at home and you don't even want to just think that in your mind. But if we've had this curiosity for a few, do you go on the dark web at all? I don't even know how to do that. Okay. But if, you have this, if you've had this curiosity for a few years, um, you know, I, I know the, that these, you know, you've talked about, you know, that aren't from America. They are. I know they post very young. I don't mean five years old. I mean infants and toddlers. So let me, let me just ask you that. How often are they posting infants and toddlers in these groups? I don't know. Okay. Is it as often as like teens or is it a rare thing? Or how, do, how does that, like, you know, if they post 10 videos of CP, how, how many of them would be infants or toddlers? I don't, I, I don't know. I, I don't remember seeing any like that. Okay. What's the youngest age you think you've seen in these groups? Maybe like 14. 14? told me there was five to 17 they were talking about. I'm talking about, but I may have seen like 14 or like 12. Okay, but you told me there was a video of like a mom doing shit to her 10 year old son. Well, I know people were talking about it. You told me that there was a video of that. Yeah. Okay. Kind of, you kind of told me she was doing some shit to him in that video. Do, do, do you think that, um, look, like I said, I think the reason you told me that, you know, it's five and up, at least what they would talk about is because you have such a young kid in there and you don't even want to bring him into the conversation. Um, but you know as well as I do that Americans like us, sure, you might have f***ed up with some teenagers online, whatever, that is what it is. But we're talking people 5,000 miles away. You know, we're talking the scum of the earth. We're talking people who have no limits, people who would harvest organs you know what I mean, Adam? They would harvest organs, they would drink their Okay, so, you know, I, I'm not saying I'm gonna go to China and go save a baby, but I can maybe pass it on to somebody who will, you know, and of course I'll leave you out of it. So you, you tell me, Adam, when's the first time, and I, I don't, I, I'm not interested, I'm not interested in any answer but the truth, okay? No beating around the bush, just straight up. For the kids, Adam, for the kids, for your son. When's the first time some idiot has posted like a video of like an infant or a toddler in one of these groups? I, I don't remember, because it's groups are from like years ago, and I've just like gotten onto them. Okay, but you told me that you go on Telegram once a week and you see this sh once a week. Okay, so let's just say on the time you're on, how often are they posting videos of? babies or toddlers. I, I'm not saying you like it, obviously. I, I don't think you do. I wouldn't be asking you if you if, did. If I've seen any, it's probably like once or twice a day, but it's like, I, I'm on like once a week. Okay. But you see, so they occasionally post like baby videos and Maybe, yeah. Okay. What happens in those videos of the babies? I, I don't know. How do you know it's baby videos? I don't know. You you literally just asked if it, well, it could have been, I just I gave you an answer. 
Right, but uh, but how can you tell? Like, do you see the babies in the thumbnails, or do you just see like in the video? Like, how does that kind of work? I don't, I don't know. Okay. You, you mentioned people have asked you to trade. Yeah. Okay. Well, what platforms do people ask you to trade on? Everything. So Telegram, Facebook, just everything. Yeah. Okay. Um, how many times do you think you've traded with people? Like once or twice, but that's from like significant others. Okay, has anybody asked you to trade child porn with them? Like one, a uh, couple of people have and I never have. Okay. What have they sent you? I've seen like pictures of that people have sent me and okay. that's it. What are those pictures? Like, nude, like. 15, 16. Okay. Got it. Um, so uh, here, here's another thing. So, you know, I obviously told you, like, we can see that you were getting some images, right? Like, it was coming to your phone, whatever. Is this on a phone or a computer, by the way? It's happening on. Phone? Okay. Um, we can also see when stuff goes out. You know what I mean? So if people are sending shit in, we see your phone's getting We can also see what your phone's putting out, okay? And... You've been transparent with me, I'll be transparent with you. I don't tell people this usually, but we've seen that y you have in fact sent child to other people. Um, now, whether this was stuff that you, uh, whether this was stuff that I don't think you made yourself, but you know, you had to have gotten it from somewhere else. Like, have there been situations where maybe you just uh, take something that somebody else sent you, then just forward it to somebody else or like, Maybe I don't remember sending any to anybody. Okay. Just receiving, huh? Yeah. Okay. Got it. Um, do you have iPhone, Android? Android. Okay. God, I could use some fried pickles right now. I'm starving. Love that. Shit. But um, let me ask this. So you've been lonely for a while, right? A couple months. Yeah. Fair enough. When did uh, your mom end up leaving, or the, the baby mom end up leaving? Like, beginning of April. Oh, damn, I'm sorry, man. That's rough. Did she just walk out, or did you know she was leaving? She, she said she was going to... Then I've been hearing from mutual friends that live over that way that she's been staying with some... with a guy she met on Discord. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry, dude. Well... It was all because of money. You just didn't have any? Yeah. Ah, well, gotta get that up. Um, so what I've noticed with lonely people is when there's not a partner, they kind of, uh, they kind of tend to, uh, they kind of tend to save things as like a sentimental memory, rather, because they don't have anybody in person to share that memory with. Um, so straight up, uh, and I'm not saying, you know, you're some, you know, I'm not saying you have like terabytes stored or anything like that, but you've been very cooperative. I want to give you the opportunity, you know, I'm willing to help uh, get rid of what we know you have. How, about how many images or videos of the CP I stuff? I don't do you... have anything saved. Okay. Well, some people send files that are called like curveball files that even if you don't save them, they end up in the gallery. So let me ask that. I, I, I've been through my whole gallery within the past couple of days trying to find... We were just at a family function the other day. Uh -huh. so I was trying to find all of my old photos of my kid to show yeah. family members that he just met for the first time. Yeah. And I, I don't have anything in my gallery. Okay, so basically, you know, I'm not saying I'm going to take it. I have no power to. I'm not a cop, obviously. But, um, but basically, if I were to just have free access to your phone the only place I would find CP would be on Telegram or some yeah. mess, like within messages somewhere, groups. Okay, got it. Um, I see. I see. Interesting, interesting. Um, so, so I am kind of curious, like, how often have people asked you for bathing videos of your kid? I've had, like, a couple of people do it, like, a few times a month. Is it those same people, or is it always somebody else? It's, it's always, like, somebody different. Sometimes it's the same people. Okay. 
What specifically are they asking for of your kid? Him in the bath or like me changing him or something. Okay. Do all those people that ask for that, are they are they always asking, like do they ask the same thing the other people ask? Like is it always, the, they're asking for that specifically or are they asking for other what I can remember people asking. Okay, but there have been multiple people that have asked, hey, I want to see him changing, or hey, I want to see him in the bath. Yeah. Okay, so this wasn't just one person, there's multiple people asking that same question? Yeah. Okay. Um, I see, I see. Let me ask you this, I know you're not a bad father, but you're with your kid, man. You can't be a bad father. You stepped up when nobody else would. Do you think maybe you played into those conversations a little bit more than you should have? No. No? How did it get to a point where there's where multiple people are asking for just that same... Uh... I don't know. Okay. Okay. Do, do, you, do you think that there could have been times where you sent that to them not knowing what they actually wanted from that or not knowing why they wanted it? I've never sent anything of my kid to anybody. But those same people, multiple people have asked for the same thing from yes. of your kid. And they've asked multiple times. Okay. And you didn't block them after they asked that. Well, I'm barely on Telegram or whatever. So they asked this on Telegram? Yeah. Okay. I've had a couple people ask on Telegram and I just, I ignore it sometimes. Most of the time, some other times I tell them no. Adam? Your kid's young enough to where he's not gonna remember this. So let's cut it out now, okay? Same thing, you have an Android. Androids are easier to get into than the border in Texas, okay? If you know anything about that, okay? We've seen the videos already, okay? We've seen, we, no, no, no. We've seen what's on there. We've seen the videos that you took of your kid. I've never taken any videos of my kid in that manner. Adam. I'm being Adam. complete. No. No, I'm getting back to my kid. I'm sick and tired of people accusing me. Well, do you, do you, do you want to see the accusations real quick? No. Adam. No. No. Hey, away. Adam. I want to show you what somebody said. I thought I had him. Adam. Oh. <laughs> Multiple people asking that? Yeah, right. God damn. Let's hope he doesn't delete it. I thought I had him, dude. <laughs> Making so much progress. Are the cops on the way? Dude. I thought I had him dead to rights, man. We should probably go down the street a little bit because if he sees them, I don't want him to go like deleting his. <laughs> Bro, that sucks, dude. <laughs> oh my god, I thought I had his ass dead to rights, bro. Yeah, let's go down the street a little bit so he doesn't see the cops. Man, I could, dude, I thought I had him on that, man. Oh my God, he was... What, what happened? I was on the phone. Bro, like, he's like, yeah, so multiple people have asked me for uh, pictures of my kid and videos. And I'm like, what are they asking for? He's like, yeah, you know, videos of him changing, videos of uh, him in the bathtub. And I'm like, multiple people are asking about this? And he's like, yeah. And I'm like, all right, look, man, we know you've been sending them. We've seen the pictures. He's like, no. And he storms off. You know he's guilty. Oh, yeah. I think he's done that shit too.
How you doing? I'm Officer Olson, Dolph Stoke with the Phillips Park Police Department. We're recording. Okay. How can we help you today? How's it going? Um, there's an individual named Adam that lives uh, upstairs in that uh, building that we were talking to. Okay. Uh, we have a group we catch on on child across the country, and Adam was messaging who he believed to be a 12 year old girl. He invited her over um, to do uh, sexual things. And he ended up blocking us, like, but he gave his address in the conversation and he was like begging her to come over and stuff like that. So uh, we, we showed up at his house today. We approached him on camera. He talked to me for like two hours outside. Um, he admitted he sent these messages, invited the 12 year old girl over. And he also um, mentioned to me that he's viewed child as young as 10 years old and that he views child like once a week. He's been watching it like he says once a week for the past couple of years. Okay. And he said he's had multiple people hit him up on, he has a two year old son in there, he's 23 years old. He said he's had multiple people message him online to send video, sexual videos of his son. And what set him off is I basically pretended like, hey man, I've, I've seen those videos, I know what you're talking about. And that like pissed him off. But he said multiple people have asked him like, hey, take videos of your son in the bathtub, uh, take videos of your son changing and stuff like that. And I'm like, so multiple people are all asking for the same videos. And he's like, yeah. And I'm like, what app is this happening on? He said Telegram, and Telegram is the same app he's getting his child from. And I'm like, would you say the people asking for those videos of your son are perverts? And he's like, yes. So I mean, I think, I mean, based on what he said, I think there's, I think he's probably doing his own kid. Right. And um, you know, obviously. Information as well, right? This is one of them. This is for his name. Can, yeah. Can we have that? Absolutely. Okay. We have everything. No, we'll take, take that we have thing. everything digitally as well. Do you have ID on you as well? Yes, sir. It's in the Please. car. Can you give him my ID from the middle, please? Hey, did he leave? He went. I, he, I saw this guy walking down the street. Yeah, he went upstairs. He he got mad when I like called no, him out. I'm saying he went upstairs or did he go walking down the street? I think I saw him walking. Oh, down. uh, maybe he he had to, he'd have to gone out the back. Did you see that guy? I think he was wearing he was wearing like a. Doctor? Real tall, skinny kid. Yes, he was wearing like black and one shorts and black and red shorts. Okay, let me get your information just in case you left with. He doesn't have a car. No, that's what I said. I saw someone looking like that face walking down on the He has like kind of long hair at this thought, point. Nah, I don't think it was long. Like you're so short. Oh. Uh, <clears throat> here, actually, no. Well, want to just play back the camera just to see? Check this out there where you get a safe room for me and see all, everything we got. And maybe we can build it a little bit more before we go knocking on his door. Okay, sounds okay. good. Yeah. So we're gonna go to the gas station, get some water real quick. Yeah, can we go to the gas station real quick? Yeah, our detective's not even in yet. It's, uh, today's the holiday, so he'll be in a little bit, but he wants to talk to you right away. Before. Wait, it's a holiday today? It's a yeah, holiday? Yeah, Juneteenth is today. Wait, what? What's that? Okay. Uh, what's, right. uh, what's the address to the... Oh, gotcha, okay. Phillipsburg, New Jersey. Awesome. Yeah, Thank where you. he's gonna go? He's gonna go to Wawa straight ahead? Okay. Where's that reason? If you want to support the predator poachers catching the sickest both near and far, go to the pinned comment. If you're on Rumble, press the red join button to see over 30 videos early and uncensored for only $10 a month. We can't do this without your help, so join our locals.